Welcome to the Bentec Assembly Demonstration. This demonstration will show many of the highlights and features that the Bentec software can offer. We will be designing an assembly that will represent a headache rack. First of all, when using assembly, there are two primary concepts to keep in mind. First, pick points are placed at the ends of each tube and the starts, ends, or apexes of each bend. These points are located using easy to understand directions of ceiling, floor, left, right, front, and back. The second concept to understand is how the individual parts are drawn. After the pick points have been placed, parts can be created by connecting them together. There are several different methods to create pick points. To start, the single point option will be used. First, select the reference point. Then, place one pick point to the left and place a second pick point to the right by entering the locations of the points in the fields. These points represent the base of the headache rack. Now each of these points will be selected and a new point will be placed above these previously created points. Next, another point will be created up and to the left of this point up here. The same will be done with the point on the other side, but up and to the right instead. There are now six points that represent the first part. To connect these points, select Bent Part and indicate the number of bends the part will have. Then click each point to connect them. So here's the part that we have just created. Now the top two points on the part will be moved towards the front. Bends can be moved by selecting Move Bend, then click on the bend that will be moved, then enter the move amount. In this case, the bend is being moved forward. After that, the same thing will be done to the other bend on the part. Here you can see how the top two bends were moved towards the front of the vehicle. Next, more points will be added to the assembly. Pick points will be created up from the base of the part on both sides. Now from those new points, two more points will be placed up and to the back. Then another part will be created using these new points. Again, the part is made by connecting the points. Now some straight sections of tube will be added for stiffening. You can see that in a very short period of time, a full assembly was created with two bent parts and four straight parts. Next, the first part that was created will be sent into the part design interface where the bend instructions can be seen. Right here, the cut length, bend locations, rotations, bend angles, and spring angles are shown. A simulation of what the part will look like going through the bender can be viewed. As you can see, the part is moving down while it's performing the third and fourth bend. When the bend order is reversed, the part will be bent from the other end. By doing this with a symmetrical part, the direction the part rotates will usually be the opposite. You can now see how it's bending up in the air this time. Bentec Assembly will also provide cutting information. To do that, first select the tube that will be cut. Next, select the tube that the first tube will be cut to or against. Then we can look at the details of what the cut looks like. So, as you can see here, there will be an actual wrapper that can be wrapped around the tube. This will print out to scale so it can be wrapped directly around the actual tube you're going to cut. Let's do another cut. With this cut, we're going to cut to a bend in addition to a straight tube. The part that we're cutting is a straight part and will be cut at both ends. As you can see here in the example, 
The wrappers are put on each end of the tube and the blue line represents the rotation of each wrapper to each other. The red line represents the distance between the two parts. Assembly also allows you to place some dimensions on the part so you can see the sizes of the part from the top, front, and right side view. So that's an overview of the Bentec assembly interface. This interface is available in both the Bentec Pro and SE. If your next project includes putting several parts together, this is a great way to manufacture and design your tubing.